If you're unfamiliar with the references tab, I suggest you check it out. It's really um, just an amazing tool for doing a, bibli a bibliography. I usually have to do my bibliography in APA, which is, I think, the default. But if you use a different version, uh, there's a number of different ones there, like Harvard, for example, or Chicago. What we need to do first is add our sources. So I click on Manage Sources, and I don't have any yet, so I need to click on New. Let's say my first source is a book, and the author could be Bob. Is your uncle? And the title of the book could be Unicorny Jokes. And the year it was published was 1974, and the city was Hong Kong, and the publisher was Silly Books. I click on OK, and we have Bob's Your Uncle Unicorny Jokes. The bibliography entry, you can see it comes down here as your uncle comma B, so it automatically changes the first name into the letter, puts the date inside brackets, puts the title in italics and so on. And it also shows you the citation that it will show in text if you use in text citations. Let's add one more. So I'll click on new and let's say this time we have a website. And in this case, I don't know the author, the website I've got it from is Wikipedia. And if we have a look at it there, you can see that the page is called Unicorn. I can then put in the rest of the information here. Looking for the year, most Wikipedia entries are done in the year that you're looking at it. Scroll right to the bottom, it says it was last modified May 2013. Down the bottom of the page is where you'll usually find information about the age. So the year is 2013, and you don't really need to worry about the month and the day. The year access though, 2013, the month accessed is June, and the day accessed is the second. The URL, I just copy it from the page. And click OK. You can see how it's different if we don't have the name of the author. It just leaves that part out and puts the name of the actual page in there and then puts the, the data about where it's from. So you can see now I've got two items there. So I, if I needed to edit them, I can click on edit. If I need to delete them, I can delete and I can add as many as I need. So I'll close that now. Now let's put this information in here. This uh, joke here was from that book. So I'm gonna insert a citation. And if I click on insert citation, it gives me the options. I'm gonna go with uh, Bob's your uncle there. And this bit here came from Wikipedia. So I'm gonna reference Wikipedia there. Insert citation, Unicorn 2013. And then at the end of my document, I need to put my bibliography in. So I click on bibliography and insert bibliography. And you can see that it's put my two entries there in alphabetical order and it has them properly formatted. Nothing could be easier. Save yourself lots of messing around doing your own formatting.